Bago tayo mag-proceed doon sa cadet ship na review material, yung sinasagutan natin na marami, isingit lang natin ito kasi madali lang naman to. Galing ito kay Ma'am Joanna Obina. Ma'am, patulong po. A fraction is equivalent to one half if both num numerator and denominator are increased by two. The resulting fraction will be equivalent to 5 over 9. What is the original fraction? Bago ang lahat, special shoutout lang kay Joel Cantero, kasi nagpa-shoutout siya. Include ko na rin yung sarili kong account na OFW Nars Lunalin. At para sa mga anak ko na rin na sina Shino Akihiko at saka si Mikaela Yuchiro. Hindi yan yung mga real name nila ha. Yan yung ginawa nilang parang screen name ba anyway basahin natin ang problem a fraction is equivalent to one half if both numerator and denominator are increased by two the resulting fraction will be equivalent to five over nine what is the original fraction Intindihin niyo yung given. A fraction is equivalent to one half. Meaning, na least na siya. Pwede siyang 2 over 4, 3 over 6. Bali, na least na siya. If both numerator and denominator are increased by 2. When we say increased by 2, nag-add ka na ito yung numerator mo. Denominator. When we say increased by 2, plus 2, plus 2. The resulting fraction will be equivalent to 5 over 9. Ngayon ang gagawin natin. Nag plus ka ng 2, so ang equivalent niya ay 5 over 9. Ang 5 over 9, nakalis na yan siya. So, let n be that number na i-multiply natin sa 5 over 9 para sa actual na number niya. So, ang mangyayari dyan ay 5n over 9n. Ang gagawin natin ay mag-minus tayo ng 2 dito at mag-minus ng 2. Bakit mag-minus, ma'am? Kasi nga, kung mag-add tayo ng 2 dito sa original na number na equivalent ng 1 half, ang result niya ay 5 over 9. Given si result na 5 over 9 at given yung pang-add na 2, ang hinahanap natin ay yung numerator at denominator. So, balik ta rin natin. Balik kung ganito naman, ay itong plus 2, na, uh, plus 2 sa numerator at plus 2 sa denominator, kung i-transpose mo sa kabila, magiging minus 2. Kaya, Ito yung gagawin natin. So, ngayon, that is equivalent to 1 half. Next, cross multiplication. So, this is 2 times 5n minus 2 equals 9n minus 2. Kasi 1 lang naman yan siya. 2 times 5n, that is 10n. 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4, equals 9n minus 2. Ipagsama ang mga like terms. Since si 9n, positive yan siya. Kung i-transpose natin sa kabila, maging minus n. So, 10n minus 9n, that is equivalent to 1n. Or n lang, pareho lang yan siya. Then, Si minus 4, so nandito lang si minus 2. Si minus 4, kapag i-transpose sa kabila, maging plus 4. So, n is equals to negative 2 plus 4, and that is 2. So, equivalent ni n ay 2. So, itong 5n, ang equivalent ni n ay 2. 5 times 2 equals 10. 9n, so 9 times 2 equals 18. 10 over 18, hindi pa yan ang sagot. So, 10 over 18, lagay natin dito, 10 over 18. Ito ay minus 2, that is 8. 
this one minus 2, that is 16. So, ito na yung sagot. What is the original fraction? 8 over 16. Double check natin. Kung si numerator natin dito ay, this is 8, okay? This one is 8. Yung denominator natin ay 16. 8 plus 2, that is 10. Okay. 16 plus 2, that is 18. Let's find the greatest common factor para malist natin yan. Ang greatest common factor ay 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 18 divided by 2, and that is 9. So, therefore, ang tamang sagot ay 8 over 16. So, kung balikan natin yung tanong, yung given bali, the fraction is equivalent to 1 half, which is yung 8 over 16. If both numerator and denominator are increased by 2, so nag-add tayo ng 2. The resulting fraction will be equivalent to 5 over 9. So, ang result, resulting fraction nito ay yung 10 over 18. Nilist natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 2. So, ang sagot dyan ay 5 over 9. So, therefore, ang sagot na 8 over 16 ay tama.